Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this Twixter slow mo in After Effects using a plugin called Twixter. The slow mo looks really cold, and I use the Twixter slow mo in like my every single music video that I do. Before getting to the video, I just wanna let you know I just dropped my ultimate 3D title bundle, which comes with my latest pack, 3D decks, and title preset, and one of my OG pack, the 3D title pack you already know. The bundle also allows you to add some crazy titles for your music video in just few clicks and also when you buy the bundle it's 28 dollar off so it's a steal for real i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out back to the video so firstly to start off i like to like pre-comb my clip because doing twisted slow-mo can give some glitches if the footage is not pre-combed so pre-comb it and add like a twister on it of course and now in your effect controls you can see all of these values and stuff it looks like really overwhelming for the first time but we really want to play with one setting which is on the output control it's called speed so we gonna hit the stop button there as you might already guessed it controls the speed and helps us to push some keyframes and make it slow-mo so i'm gonna put the one keyframe over here and right away the camera started zooming onto onto my artist's face i'm gonna lower down the amount to like 30 i guess like something like that then you can put some more keyframes like i'm gonna put one keyframe in the beginning and put it a bit further and bring it up it's like fast at the beginning maybe i'm gonna lower down the amount more to like 30 or maybe like 20 as well at the end to really get that like slow-mo feel also i'm gonna put a keyframe at the end bringing up the amount to like 180 at the end and putting it at the end so we have like the smooth time ramp going on so after that to make it more smooth we go on easy ease all of these keyframes and go head over to graph and if we are in speed game pop into value graph and you can just play with the graph now to get it to your liking so for the first speed ramp i'm gonna make a graph something like this so it's like fast maybe something like this yeah that's pretty cool and for this slow mo i'm gonna make a tight graph like something like the yes sir that looks hard and for the ending time ramp i'm gonna make a graph like this like somewhere around here so after that our slow-mo is almost done but to spice it up i like to like pre-comp this layer and add like a rsmb into here rsmb make it more smooth and bring up the motion sensitivity and make the amount to like 0 0.70 or whatever you like and turn on the gpu if you have then after this your slow-mo will be done but you can add like more stuff to spice it in like you can add some zooms so like a skin keyframe on it like something like that and you can also add a zoom at the end so it looks really cool when you add like some effects on top or like some presets or zoom so i'm gonna show you how to do that as well so i made a graph like this on the zoom yeah that's pretty cool and to top it off you can add like any effect onto it i'm gonna use my sick pack to add some sick on it so maybe a vertical sick would look hard on this and another sick way it like zooms into my artist face so which sick should i use for it let me just use the best one i'm gonna trim until here another sick at the end as well so after adding the sick you can see the energy it adds it's totally insane so if you want to grab this sick pack i'll link it in the description it's really dope comes with a lot of sick to use in your project and it's one of the best sick pack out there so i'll link it in the description you can check it out so anyways my final result looks something like this so if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can also follow my instagram i'm really active in there so yeah see you in the next video peace